Welcome back to another clay video, and welcome to part one of creating every type of Pokeball. Today, we are going to create 15 different Pokeballs. And this video is also a collaboration with many other clay channels who are also making things in the theme of Pokeballs. So if you want to see their creations, you can click on the links in the description of this video. I figured it would be best to start with the classic Pokeball, since this design is used for every single Pokeball. Of course, they use a lot of different colors, and you add a lot of different details onto the Pokeball. This basic design is always there. So to create these, I'm using a ball of white clay and a ball of red clay. I cut them in half and place the two halves together, and hopefully this will make a nice Pokeball. I know right now it looks a little bit weird, but after we add in this black strip, it'll look less like an egg and a bit more like a ball. We can take this strip and wrap it around it, and you can see that it looks a bit more like a ball now. Let's trim the back and place that back together. And in the front we need to take out this little chunk, and this will be where we put the opening mechanism here. And on top of that, we have a little white dot. And now our Pokeball is complete, but as you can see, it's very dirty. And this is an issue I always have with white clay or any type of lighter color. By using some rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, we can clean off all of this filth and it looks good as new. When I first came up with this idea to create every single Pokeball, I thought there was 10, maybe 15 at the most, but I was very amazed to see that there's actually 27 different types of Pokeballs. And because of this, I'm going to split it into two separate videos. I know I don't usually do videos in parts, but this one I think is pretty necessary because they take a pretty long time to create. As I create the Pokeballs, I'll have a picture of them along with the name on the screen, so you can sort of follow with me if you don't really know the names of the Pokeballs I'm creating. This Pokeball is called the Sport Ball, and what makes this one special is it's the only Pokeball you can use in the bug catching contest. There's nothing too crazy about the Great Ball, but it has a slightly higher chance of catching Pokemon than the typical classic Pokeball. This is one of those Pokeballs that I've never heard of before, but the description of it says that event Pokemon are usually distributed inside of a Cherish Ball. This is called the Heavy Ball, and this one's special because it is more likely to succeed the heavier that the Pokemon is. Which I think is a pretty cool ability to have on a Pokeball. The Ultra Ball is one of those classic Pokeballs that's been around since the very first generation. This one gives you a double catch rate while using this Pokeball. Next we have the Premier Ball, which was the easiest Pokeball to create by far. We mostly just have this red wrapping around it. Now I didn't know you could actually use this Pokeball to catch Pokemon, I thought it was just sort of like a collector item. Now we have the Dive Ball, and this one is pretty cool because it has a higher chance of catching Pokemon in the water. It was pretty hard to figure out how to create this design on it, but I think if we use this little splat and wrap it around, even though it's not really flat with the ball, I think it looks pretty good. We also have another little splat on the top, sort of looks like a fried egg. And using the ball color, we'll put this little piece on the top. And now we have the wrapping. Moving on, we have the friend ball. This design really reminds me of a peacock or a turkey, some type of bird that has a big fan in the back. The special ability on this Pokeball is that any Pokemon caught in a friend ball becomes more friendly immediately when you catch it.
This one seemed to give me a lot of trouble, and it was mostly this ring on the top. I tried a few different methods of making it, but I think this one works the best. The special ability of this Pokeball is that it's more likely to succeed against lower leveled Pokemon. We have this yellow wrapping around the bottom as well. And we can move on to our next Pokeball, which is the Safari Ball. This one took a little while to figure out how I would create this camouflage pattern on the top, but I think by cutting out and shaping these sort of random blotches, it will look pretty good like a camouflage design. And I know they'll be overlapping each other and they won't really be flat on the ball, but I think this is really the best you can do if you're not going to paint it. The special thing about the Safari Ball is it can only be used to catch wild Pokemon during a Safari game. And I've just taken all these and randomly placed them all over it. I think we need a little bit more tan in the front, and that looks pretty good, so let's move on to our next Pokeball. Next, we have my favorite, the Master Ball. I really love the design of this. I think the purple really makes it stand out from all of the other Pokeballs. And the ability on this Pokeball is unlike any other one. You can catch any single Pokemon on your first try. You will never fail. And I think this also includes legendary Pokemon. For the final details, we have these two little pink blobs. We can place one on each side. Next, we have the Dusk Ball. This is one of those Pokeballs I've never heard of before, but it says that the special ability is that you're more likely to succeed at catching a Pokemon if you use it at night, or in a cave. The cave part doesn't make too much sense to me if it's not at night, but I guess it's still dark in the cave. This one is pretty cool because it has this orange wrapping around it. It's very different from the other Pokeballs. This was also probably my messiest Pokeball. It's not the best, but it will do. And now for our final Pokeball of the video, we have the Luxury Ball. This one is also one of my favorites in design. I think it's really cool and it looks like it would be very expensive. The special ability of this Pokeball is that it doubles the rate in which the Pokemon receive friendship, which is very similar to the Friend Ball, except that one gives you immediate friendship this one just doubles the rate that you can receive it. So now that our Pokeballs are done, we are ready to get baked. We will continue this journey of creating Pokeballs next Friday, where we will create the rest of the remaining Pokeballs. There's nothing else we have to do after baking, so here it is! A bunch of random Pokeballs.